we want to move on to some other races that we're following tonight, to some local races. Governor Jay Inslee will have a third term as the governor of Washington. He won tonight against his challenger, Lauren Culp. As you can see the results here, 62% to 38%, but he has been called the winner tonight. We want to get to King 5's Drew Mickelson. He's in Olympia tonight. He's been tracking the governor's campaign. Drew, good evening. Good evening, Mark and Joyce. Governor Jay Inslee called it a great night. This was a race that the Associated Press called just moments after the ballots were being collected, or at least the, the, the polls closed at 8 o'clock. Take a look at these latest numbers. These are the numbers that we have for this evening. 62% of voters across the state wanted to send Jay Inslee back for a third term. 38% of the voters at this point backing his challenger, Lauren Culp. The governor says he now has a mandate for two of his hot issues, climate change and battling COVID. No matter who you supported in this election, Trudy and I are going to get up every single morning trying to figure out how we can help to improve your lot in life and allow you to realize your dreams. That's what we do. It's because we understand we have some unprecedented challenges that have faced our state. As for the presidential race, the governor said a lot of votes still need to be counted. He said that Americans are going to be, quote, on tender hooks for days. He's calling for maximum civility and for patience. He says that there have been some talks of, of protests. We know there's some up in Seattle, but nothing here in Olympia. There was talk of that, but that has not been the case here on the Capitol campus. Now let's go to Tenino. Not too far from where we are in southern Thurston County, where my colleague Natalie Swaby has been with challenger Lauren Culp. Natalie? Well, Drew, that's right. You know, about 40 minutes ago, Culp addressed his supporters and he did not accept defeat. Instead, his message was we need to wait for more votes to be counted. Just listen to what he had to say. This, so there he me, was saying said something they, more than just the Republicans, Republicans or the Democrats. This said a constitutional conservative, and that's what I am too. I, my life, you know, in the United States and in the state of Washington is ruled by our Constitution, and that's what Lauren Culp is all about. Okay, you're hearing from a supporter there. That's Beth Healy of Carnation. She's saying that's why she's supporting Culp. But Culp tonight did tell people here that he had some concerns about irregularities with some of the races that are coming in. He says, let's wait for all the votes to be counted. And as people were leaving here tonight, they echoed his words. So that's just some of what we're hearing here in Tenino, where they did have a big rally tonight. But as you can see behind me, right now they're wrapping it up. Well, I've been tonight on Natalie Swaby, King 5 News. All right, Natalie, thank you. Now to the lieutenant governor's race. Congressman Dem Denny Heck and Senate um, Floor Majority Leader Marco Elias are competing for that open lieutenant governor's seat. As you can see right now, Denny Heck with a fairly comfortable lead with 71% of the vote in, 58% to 42%. Both candidates are Democrats who advanced in the state's top two primary. That seat opened up after Cyrus Habib vacated it to join the clergy. And coming up in our next half hour, we will have a live interview with Congressman Denny Heck.